when I made the selection of who is in this panel, um, what I wanted to present to you is diversity. When I did last year the first Paris FinTech Forum, I had almost a fight on stage with one of your guy uh, that I love, but uh, Stefan told me that I was wrong, InsurTech was really getting traction, and I didn't invite in almost any InsurTech. I had one. Fluo, by the way, win an award at our event, but it was the only one, because we didn't receive so many applications. It was quite uh, the beginning. And this year we received 50 or 60. So it's not anymore the beginning. Um, and I wanted to show you diversity. So um, here you have very, very different model. Jean-Charles, um, who is the CEO of Alan, very different because, as you will see in InsurTech, many models, not all, but many models are on the distribution side. Sometimes more on the service to finance side where you treat uh, the problem in back offices, but many times in distribution. It's like brokerage or mobile brokerage. We can see that a bit later. Um, Jean-Charles will explain us why he wanted to be a real insurer. Um, so, real insurer and a French one. So, we have also a French company on that stage. Um, Julian from Finance Fox, Finance Fox is more on the brokerage, but the modern brokerage. Everything has to be mobile, the rest is past, uh, so it shouldn't be anymore. And then, uh, I met Tang last year at VivaTech, a big event on startup held also in Paris, a very nice event, where AXA is a big partner. And um, I discovered what you were doing in China, because just to remind us that France is not the center of the world and Europe neither. And in these geographies, um, he will explain us how you can mix, for different reasons, he will explain that, uh, the model of the big insurance when you need it, when you need big, big problems, and the model perhaps of alternative uh, solution where the community, the families have a role to play. And that's also very different. I'm not sure you can do that in Paris, but a uh, very different model. So I let you, after this quick presentation, take each of you three minutes to present who you are as an entrepreneur, because they don't all of them know you, and uh, what is your company's attraction, how much money you raise, if you have customer or not. Three minutes to do that. Okay, so in three minutes. Um, 350 I'm, if you want. Yeah. I'm John Charles. I'm a French entrepreneur. I've started in the web quite long time ago, since I started when I was 12. I sold my first website when I was 13, and I did that during all my studies. And when I arriving in engineering school, I had the feeling that we could use this methodology very agile, very fast, quick, iterative, kill project very soon to heavy industry. And with a, a couple of friends, we decided to apply that to aerospace. And we developed the lightest aircraft seats uh, for economic class with a company that is named Explicit. We started the com this company when I was 22. And during five years, we did that, and we developed a seat that is three times lighter than any other seat, flying on several airlines in the catalog of ATR. I had the chance to exit this company and to focus on a topic that was really important to me. I'm from a doctor family, uh, which is healthcare. And we decided to change the way we interact with the healthcare system. And we found that the most important thing to do was, and one of the most important steps was insurance and health insurance. That's why we created Alan at the beginning of the year, 2016, um, with the aim to totally change the user experience in health insurance. Since then, we have raised 12 million. We have got our license as an insurance in October, so eight months after the launch. It was the first license from an independent player in France since 1986, so 30 years ago. I wasn't born at that time. Um, and now we you are, are not nice with us. <laughs> <laughs> and now we are uh, live, having companies it's a 35 billion market uh, health insurance in France, having companies signing up for their employees, and we try to provide them the best experience and very soon the best integrated services with the healthcare system. Thank you. We'll come back to more details after. Great. I'm Julian. I'm founder of Finance Fox, and yeah, I come from an entrepreneurial family. My dad has been in insurance for 40 years um, and always wanted me to join his business. Uh, I always refused. I thought insurance was very boring. Um, and I wanted to build my own startup. Uh, I wanted to understand um, how that uh, massive uh, disruption of technology and massive increase of information will change our lives. Um, so I built my first startup, uh, not in insurance. Um, it was one of the biggest e-commerce companies in Switzerland. We sold it to 15, and then I thought it was time to team up with my father uh, and look at insurance, um, because insurance is messed up. Um, and the reason why it's messed up uh, is, for me, very simple. Uh, you have insurance customers. They pay money. 
uh, the insurance company doesn't need to pay that money back straight away. And then the company invests that money, gets back more money, and the whole business model is based on paying back less to the customer than you paid in. So essentially, you have a money-making machine, right? It's a beautiful business model, and uh, as long as it worked, uh, right? And all you had to do was just invest money and money and money into sales to get more money into the cycle. The customer and his expectations and his needs were never at the center. And that's the problem where insurance is at right now, because two major things are happening. Number one, uh, you don't just simply make more money uh, through investing uh, because of low interests. Uh, that puts a pressure on risk returns. And number two, drastically change customer expectations. You compare your experience with Allianz or AXA, uh, not between the two, but with Amazon and Uber. Uh, so there's a drastic change ahead, amazing opportunity for us to be in the market. Um, and uh, what have we done uh, to tackle this market? Uh, we are looking, um, uh, we have looked at a way to enter the industry to gain power very, very fast. Uh, we have launched end of 2015 and have now uh, acquired approximately 90,000 customers, fastest growing intratech in Europe, um, uh, at a customer acquisition cost of approximately 25 euros. The way that we do it is we tackle mainly the brokers. We act like a vacuum cleaner. Uh, for the broker market uh, in the active markets we're in, Germany, Switzerland, we just launched Austria, uh, we're going to launch further countries very soon. Um, and why do brokers work with us? Uh, number one, we have lef less effort for them. They get a complete technological platform. They have a 360 degree view on their customers, can communicate via uh, push notifications, send offers to the app of their customers. They have a first level support. Uh, they have uh, administrative support. They make more revenue uh, through the onboarding of the customers. Um, all of the policies of their customers are onboarded, so they make more revenue through that. And also, we make appointments for them uh, via video conference or physical meetings even, where offers are signed digitally that we prepare. And number three, we offer them uh, to make their customers loyal. We offer them the uh, customer um, experience that, they, uh, that the customers of Uber and Amazon have uh, uh, as a customer of a broker. Uh, so this is a massive traction. Uh, we're growing very fast. We've raised uh, now altogether 33 million uh, from amazing investors. We're very lucky and proud. Um, Salesforce has been the first investor from the US. Uh, Lika Shing and uh, Target Global uh, have uh, now um, invested around 28 million in the last round. Um, and uh, yeah. Um, you, you answered three questions at once, so I will come back a bit later. <laughs> um, your turn. Uh, thank you. So my name is Tang Loek. I look Chinese. I've been working in China, but I'm French inside. So my mother was Chinese, my father French. Um, what we have been, well, what I've been doing over the 25, last past 25 years is doing everything in finance, coming from corporate investment banking to retail banking to consumer finance to payments to insurance. Because I believe that uh, it's not only specialists, but that a, a broad experience is also the key to innovation. In China, what we launch is one model of peer-to-peer -peer insurance. Uh, sometimes, when I'm in a badass mood, I tend to say that this is the only true peer-to-peer -peer insurance model being tested today, because there are a lot of companies and teams who have been launching so-called peer-to-peer insurance, sometimes, like uh, Lemonade recently, that most people have heard, to acknowledge uh, six months or one year later that, in fact, this is not peer-to-peer -peer insurance. So what's peer-to-peer -peer insurance? Be more clear. So what's peer-to-peer -peer insurance? Peer-to-peer -peer insurance is when you bring people to protect each other. Uh, it's building a transactions between individuals and with a company which is providing the capacity for the individual to do that. Like in P2P lending, the peer-to-peer -peer lending company is not the lender.